Well, we found our place to pitch a tent for the night. It's this little mown down area for the utility access. The only problem is it's uh, I just heard gunshots back in the forest, the woods back there, not too far, and it has me fairly alarmed. As you can see, we're only about 200, maybe 300 paces off the road. Uh, the other day I was talking to some locals and they said, well, it's hunting season, but uh, just stay by the road and you'll be fine. <laughs> but, uh, we were walking and uh, I guess it was uh, Tuesday or Wednesday and uh, saw something shiny and silver on the road and leaned down to pick it up and sure enough it was a couple of shell casings and I was thinking, yeah, I bet that... I bet that guy was fine. <laughs> Just in case, I put on my red Doctors Foster and Smith cap. Maybe they won't confuse me for a deer. You know, this is what it's like for us on a typical evening. We find an ideal location to make camp for the night. The sun's maybe 30 minutes to an hour away, but we still can't uh, set up tent uh, because uh, when you're out in an exposed area like this. Um, and you're a stranger, you want to draw as little attention to you as possible. Uh, so I wait until the last minute that is right as, as uh, darkness falls uh, to set up our tent. You know, it's hard enough as it is uh, for me to uh, get a restful night's sleep. I don't really want people to know we're here in the area. Um, aside from the two uh, lug heads that walk with me here, which are my primary deterrent. Of course, nobody really wants to mess around with a guy who's 6'2", 200 pounds with two big uh, dogs. But uh, aside from that, the only uh, uh, line of defense that I carry with me um, is a walking stick, five-foot walking stick, a multi-tool, um, and a small uh, can of mace. That's all I carry with us. I keep looking around because there's a noise over here. It's clearly something out there in the woods rooting around. I just hope it's, it's, it's what the hunters are after. He's not coming our way. Maybe I'll whistle a little bit, try to scare him away. That's not his mating call. <laughs> Maybe I'll just start singing a song. Hey, Mr. Hunter, sir, do not shoot my bee puppies. What you think of that? You like that song? Please, sir, don't shoot me.